Ha! Huh. Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick, and a bunch of you requested me show my new team. Uh, it's also going to be a team. I set this all up. Yes, I went 6-3, and three, which is pathetic, but one dude's team was just ridiculous. One dude's team was just unbelievable. He had Sherman, and he had Cromarty, and he had Pat P, and he had that flashback DRC. His team was just on another level. Another level. That was the... Let's see here. Was that that was the 14-20 to 20 game, I think? Maybe? I don't know which one it was. Yeah, it was the 14-20. to 20. The 7-14, to 14, I just played like shit. Actually, that game I got DC'd. I got DC'd in that... 7 to 14, that was some BS. I got DC'd. Uh, the 17 to 21, I let my friend play, and he threw a pick, he threw an interception in the end zone as time expired. He almost won, which is just funny. Uh, and then uh, the 14 to 20, yeah, that was that. That 35 to 21 win for me was probably like the most epic game of Madden I've ever played in my entire life. Uh, but I am in the wild card, so I am going to be recording. Um, me playing the wild card and all the way if I can make it to the Super Bowl or I'll lose in the wild card. But just a disclaimer when it comes to me making that, I am not very good at this game. Um, I need as good of a team as physically possible because I'm not that good. Uh, but if you didn't know, these are like the rewards um, for winning the Super Bowl. Now I get two badges instead of one. Whoopee. Uh, but I'm looking for those legacy collectibles because you gotta get those to get ma ma master, I think. So you want to really get all the way up to all Madden first and second string, and then you want to make the playoffs. And if you can, you want to get that first round by, and then you want to win the divisional and you know conference. The coins aren't the big deal. The the, the coins are the minimal thing. You want the badges because you want to pull elites or you want to pull those legacy collectibles. This is crazy. These dudes have played how many games online? It would look like 350, 345 this dude's played. Like, Jesus. Like, like, really? This dude's played even... No, he hasn't. No, he hasn't. He's less. This guy has played four, 450, 460 games almost like... What's that, 457? That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. I think if I spent every waking moment I've played this game playing this playing online, I don't even think I'd be to like 150. Like these dudes going hard. And then in the last video, you guys saw me post that Phil Dawson and it sold for 10k, so that's a good thing. All right, let's go over my team. Uh, also, I want some people wanted me to show like how I'm doing on Mutt Master and the style solos and all that different stuff, so I'll go over that. Uh, so here's my offensive line. It's the exact same, except I replaced uh, Boone with DeCastro because I needed a boost for speed run. Um, because I had, let's see here. Because at that time I didn't, I don't know who I. Yeah, I had what's his face here, Antonio Brown, the lower one, the 86, that is speed run, and I was at like 89 speed run, and I had to buy the DeCastro in order to get there. Uh, which is kind of depressing. I didn't have Megatron either, so I had Des Bryant, so that's why my speed run is now at 74. Uh, Dave Caster is still my tight end. I think I showed you guys I got Gates, maybe not. Uh, Fluker is my backup right tackle, left tackle is McKinney, DeCastro, and Levitre just back each other up at the guards. And then Larson is the backup center. Should probably get a back, better backup center, but how often do you need a backup center? Uh, running back... Charles, Jamal Charles, fastest running back in the game. I, I do I I can't decide whether I want a Mon Green or I want Charles or if I want uh AP. I don't even know who I want as my running back. Charles is a running back now, but I really should use Vic with Charles so I could utilize the read option. But I really like Brady. He's been playing really good for me. I still use Vic from time to time, and if I'm playing those stupid training camp solos, I use Taylor, Tyrod Taylor. Uh, Marcel Reese, um, I don't even know, is this the one that I pulled from the pack, or is this the one that I, no, this is the auction one, this one I bought from the auction, ooh, ooh, I should have kept the one that I pulled from the pack, the only things I care about pulling from the packs are like the 24 hour ones, if it says I pulled from a pack, or the flashbacks, I think it's cool that I pulled Cromarty out of a pack, I don't know, or like set completions, like I have the Dave Casper and it'll say set completion, I just think that's kind of cool with stuff like this, especially like the limited editions, 
like if I pulled like number seven Vic, that'd be really cool to pull that and have it. But other than that, there's not really a big deal. Like I could care less that it says next, like when I go over to Calvin and Johnson's that it says auction. Oh, whoopee. All right. So let me get to my defense. It's a full elite defense except for Vince Wilfork, but uh, I wanted Vince Wilfork over Geno Atkins because I'm a Patriots fan and I like Vince Wilfork, so that's why he's there. I got the zone defense up to uh, 90 pretty easy. All I had to do was play Bernard Pollard as my strong safety, and I think I have a, I had a zone defense, Clinton Dix, so I just played him there. Uh, and the solo, the style solo for zone defense was easy because my defense didn't change much. Um, but I think since the last time I did an update, I have rebought Cam Chancellor. Um, I pretty much traded LaShawn McCoy for Cam. I got this Cam Chancellor for 129, in a, which is extremely low, which is extremely low as of recent. When I saw it up for 129, I had to buy it. I could not pass up on 129 for Cam Chancellor. I could probably turn around and resell him for like 180. Uh, but Terrell Suggs and Ahmad are uh, Alden Smith, not Ahmad. Alden Smith are my outside linebackers. And then the 95 Luke Keekley, I did want um, Patrick Willis, but this Luke Keekley was the same price. And I thought this Luke Keekley is a lot better. And he has some pretty good hit power. Uh, wherever that is, let me go find it. Go down. Where is hit power? I think he's got like 90 hit power or something like that. It's not as good as pa yeah, he's got 92. I think Patrick Willis is his 94. So it's not as good, but he's a better card in general. This William Perry uh, legend, it's slow. He is slow, but uh, he's a beast. Uh, that 97 power move and 93 block shed is amazing. He gets the quarterbacks easy, and I pair when I pair him up for Will Fork up there, they just they just destroy the offensive lines uh, with Will Fork's 94 and 94 power moving block shed. Uh, Justin Smith, oops, wrong button. Uh, Justin Smith is not really who I want as my left outside line or my left end. Is he my left end or my right end? As my right end, but. There's not really another zone defense option at right end, so I probably will end up getting rid of him here soon, maybe. His stats aren't awful, but he's not really my choice for my right end. Cameron Wake, I'm happy with as my left end. He's a baller. He goes out there and just balls. Um, even though his block shed is only 78, he's still a beast. And I can drop him back into coverage, and he plays def decent zone. Not the greatest man, but he can play it. Um, my corners... Still got that flashback, Colonel Marty. I could sell him for like 500k. That's like his going value is 500k. Um, honestly, in my opinion, he doesn't play like a 500k card. I bet if you got that Sherman, it would be better than this Colonel Marty, just in my honest opinion. But I'm never selling this Colonel Marty probably because it says pack opening and I opened it. Was that day one or day two? What well, was the 26? Was that day two? No, the game came out on 26. I pulled this day one. So that's why I'm going to keep it is because I got it day one. Uh, I got a flashback card day one, so I'll probably keep him till the end of the year, even though his value is insane right now and I can make a bunch of coins. Uh, Bonte Davis, I believe, has the best press in the game at uh, 94 press, um, and I like to press my corners. That's why Cromarty, 90 press. Bonte Davis, 94. Gleeb, 93. Um, Browner, even, who's my fourth, which I need to get a better force, honest, up, honestly, because... Browner, he does good plays. He's real good against someone whose fourth wide receiver is slow, like a Larry Fitzgerald type player. Uh, that's just my example. Like Larry Fitzgerald, Browner plays very well against a player like that. But if you match up to Sean Jackson against Browner and I press Browner, uh, yeah, things, things don't go well. Um, but Jason Verrett also is a nice pickup for you guys that don't press because he's got 94 speed, 93 agility, 96 acceleration, and 91 man. So if you play him off a little bit, he's a really nice option. Uh, D'Angelo Hall, I just like D'Angelo Hall. That's why he's here. Uh, I have Aaron Donald here because he's the fastest deep tackle, I think, at 80 speed. Uh, let me go over my specialists. Uh, Prater and Marquette King. I wanted Marquette King, but he was like 15K, and I wasn't about to pay that. Then you, I pulled it. I pulled him. Uh, Ridley is my third down running back because I put in blunt sometimes if I need bruising on offense, um, if Charles just isn't getting the job done. Garrett Blunt is a nice budget halfback. 
if you guys need a nice halfback, if your team is at the is at high overall like mine, Legarrette Blunt is a nice running back. I used him for the longest time, and honestly, he played better than better for me as kind of a pounding running back than Amon Green did. Um, obviously, Charles plays better as a speed back because he's got a whole lot of speed on him. What is the speed difference? Nine. Yeah, Charles is a lot better that way and receiving and all that. But Blunt is a nice bruising back that I'll sub in sometimes just at a change of pace. If they're really cheating in uh, faster players, um, like if, if I'm running with Charles and they'll cheat in and give like three DBs instead of two, uh, so they have the speed to keep up with Charles, I'll put in Blunt uh, so Blunt can break, break the tackles. Um, this doesn't really matter. You're a long snapper. I really have never noticed any thing with long snappers like I haven't noticed an issue ever if anybody has I don't I don't really get that because like it doesn't really matter what overall for me at least who's there I just put my actual center uh for my returners Djax uh Goodwin I do use Goodwin sometimes but Deshaun Jackson doesn't get as much playing time now with all my good wide receivers so I like to use him as my kick and punt returner uh but Goodwin's a nice option if I want to do two returners and just whoever they kick it to returns it uh, Hester is the next one, uh, just for his speed and blocking. And then DeAnthony Thomas, I'll sometimes sub him in, um, in solo challenges just to get a return with DeAnthony Thomas because I like DeAnthony Thomas. All right, let's move on to how I'm doing on, uh, sets. Uh, some people wanted to see this. Um, I am going to do all these trading camp ones that just cost a bronze. Uh, they're not too bad. I do have a crap ton to complete, but I'll get them done someday and then i'm gonna put them into this uh these they get you a thousand and then they give you a division specific gold um i might as well do it i think you have to do you have to put in a silver badge so i'll move, i'll probably wait to do these completely i'll put all the coaches in because uh, i don't need them um i'll put all those in and just wait until later in the game when silver badges are hopefully cheaper i would assume uh but bron bronze badges i get so many of them anyway i might as well do these get the free 500 coins uh, and the coach that I can put into these uh, to be completed later, or I might just complete them then. Uh, regular season, I don't know how worth it these are, um, but I might I might try these. But I, I only have the Dennis Allen, I think, uh, because I did the Raiders first, and I, I don't know why I did his thing, but he has speed run, so it kind of did work out. Uh, but we'll see about those. Uh, elite, I don't have much progress on any of these. Um, actually, I don't think I have any progress except on one. I have the Packers. I'm working on the Packers here. Uh, I have a lot of the cards. I'm just looking to get these cheap uh, -er than what I've been seeing. I'm like, Eddie Lacy for 5K, that's pretty good. But I'm not anywhere near close getting done with all the solos. I still have nine more to go. I have the whole regular season and the Elite. So I can kind of wait on those. I did have my Elite badge you guys saw me pull, but I sold that um, because I don't need it right now. And uh, sometimes if something happens or there's a surplus all of a sudden of Elites pulled in like a little block, um, all of a sudden they'll drop to like 40k. You can get Elite badges for 40k if you look hard enough and you you take the time to look every time you complete a game and stuff like that. Um, you can find them, but just don't waste all your time just sitting there looking for an Elite badge because you might as well just play the games uh, and pay the extra like 5k and not have to sit there. Uh, I thought about doing the Bears, because I did have a decent amount of the Bears, and I had the Elite Forte, so I thought about that, but, um, let's see here, I did sell, let's see here, I sold, like, two of, actually, I traded the Alshon Jeffrey to my friend, because he's a big Bears fan, so I gave him the Alshon Jeffrey, I had an Alshon Jeffrey, but I gave that to him, uh, but those are, those are a work in progress, not gonna get done very, very soon, I am, I wanna do... This Kenny on Barner signature, but because it's real easy, it's just one certificate and a bronze badge, and then Kenny on Barner. But Barner is so dang expensive that I don't want to pay 9k for a running back. This is just gonna be my fourth running back that I'm gonna use on solos. Like that's just that just seems like a waste. But I'll bring a video when I do that so you guys can see what his SIG card work looks like. Uh, I could probably buy a SIG card, but I want to do a collection. It expires on 9:15, so that's Monday. So I have until Monday to get that Kenyon Barner. Um, team of the Weeks, I haven't done any of these. Uh, obviously, I'm working on the Team of the Week Master uh, to get um, this all complete. So I can get that John Madden whenever 
after week 17. So, like, in January I can get him. Whoopie-doo. Uh, Rising Stars. I have uh, Clinton Dix. Um, I'm going to do the dual man defense. Uh, Clinton Dix, I think, maybe. I don't know. I'm going to do one of the dual ones so I can have help with the style. That's the really... If you're trying to get the styles done now, I would go after these dual chems for, like, Clinton Dix and Mike Evans and... Le'Veon Bell because that's really going to help you. It's 20 out of the 90 you need just with one player. So that's just a suggestion. Um, it's about 20k. Actually, Clinton Dix and I think I think I think all three of them are about 7k. I don't know about Evans anymore, but they're about 7k. So think about if you had Le'Veon Bell and Mike uh, Evans uh, like dual short pass, you would have 40 out of your 90, which is two of your players. So that's just a suggestion to you guys. Uh, vaults, I'm um, not working on any of these at this moment. I do want to open up another flashback pack because that was so much fun to open that one. Uh, but it's just such an investment with elite badges. It's 350,000 coins, guys, uh, just with the elites. There's no gold, which I really don't get. <laughs> um, and there's a lot of silvers. Like, I don't get that either. There's eight silvers. And there's only five bronze. It's just a weird collection, but the seven silvers, that's 350k. It's about a 450k pack. Uh, so... If you pull Alex Smith, that just sucks because that's 100K. You would have been way better off just not doing it. That's why I don't want to do it because there are ones that aren't worth it. Peyton Hillis isn't worth it anymore. He's only like 200K. Reggie Bush is like 250. There's a bunch of guys that it would be painful to pull when you could have just bought them off the auction for that much. Prim alternatives, those are kind of icky. If you look at how much you could have put into them, then those kind of suck. Uh, Monday Night Heroes. I do want to do a Monday Night Heroes pack, but those are expensive too. You got to put in the three elites. Like, ugh. The small quick sells. Eh, eh. I'd rather go. I'd, I'd rather go big and just go with the large quick sell. That's my idea. I just rather go big. Um, I don't know. Has anybody ever done one of these elite player packs? Um, I feel like it's such a waste. Five. That's two hundred fifty thousand. And you could end up pulling, like, Derek Johnson, who's, like, under 30K. So that would suck. Um, you guys tell me to do these. I'm so sick and tired of doing these. I've probably done the coaches and stadiums 15 times, I would say, since the game came out. I've done the offensive-defensive playbooks probably 10. And I've done the home and aways probably 12 or 13. Um, I do them periodically. Like, I do have some of the cards that go in here. Um, but I don't have the majority, and some of the jerseys are expensive, the playbooks, on uh, defense, the 49ers and Seahawks, I know theirs are expensive, the Broncos, Panthers, and Eagles are expensive on offense, uh, the Seahawks, I need to do these legacies, uh, so that's why I'm playing, I need to play head-to-head -to, -head to get the legacies, because otherwise, you can't get my mess, you have to play head-to-head -to, -head to get these legacy collectibles, I believe, I think that's the only way that you can get them, is through head-to-head, -head. Um, if I'm wrong, somebody correct me, but I'm pretty sure you can only get them through the badge packs through head to head seasons. Uh, but correct me if I'm wrong, but there's a lot you got to pull. You got to pull one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is that seven? Two, four, six, seven, eight. There's eight. I can't count. There's eight. But my question is if you pull one, can you pull it again? Because these aren't repeatable, and I don't think the collectibles are sellable, so that's a big question. Legends, uh, the only Legends that I've completed, you guys saw that, was the Dave Casper, wherever he is, all the way back here. No, Oh, it's repeatable, so it reset. Alright, Mystery, uh, if anybody knows who's, who the fourth Mystery player is, let me know, because I want to know who it is, uh, just in case, on the odd chance I pulled a collectible Mystery ticket, I could get it. Uh, promo, I want the Military All-Pro, but... Do you have to pull it from packs? I guess you gotta pull it from packs. Uh, and then Mutt Master style. I have eight of the cards in here. Um, I have the speed run and the zone defense. You can see. Um, I haven't even really tried to get the other ones. I don't feel like selling my whole team and then buying a new one. I feel like I lose a bunch of coins doing that. You get about two hundred thousand, two hundred and twenty-five thousand for completing that, and I feel like I lose that much buying all the cards, and then reselling them to make my teams 90 overall. But that's just my opinion. Muttmaster, I have 4 out of 66, which is just sad. It's just sad. You have to do these NFC. 
Oh, you have to do the you have to do them to get Mutt Master, huh? I think it's douchey of them to make you get ten elite badges. You know that's five hundred thousand coins. Ah, uh, five hundred thousand coins. So you you lose half of your million just getting elite badges right now. Ah, <sighs> but I'm still on that grind for Mutt Master, I guess. But I have the Raiders, the Titans, and I have the Speed Run and Zone D uh, chemistry ones. Uh, you have to do the st the style challenges to get Mutt Master because you got to get the Mutt Master collectibles. You got to do all the elite uh, collections. You got to do the Gold Coaches collection and uh, ten elite badges and all the legacies. So yeah, it's gonna be a while before I get Mutt Master. Uh, I could probably with the coins I have. Uh, but you have to play, which sucks. You got to complete ten solos. Which takes about two hours, I would say. Ten solos probably takes two hours if you just sat down and played them 100% perfectly correct and ran the clock exactly how you needed to and actually won the game because some of those elite solo challenges are pretty hard. I've gotten lucky and beaten both of them on our first try, but I know they're difficult. Um, uh, but if you think about it, that's 32. That's 320 solo challenges. If ten take two hours... That's 64 hours of playing solos. So, and that's if you don't lose and you play them correctly, I think. If my math is right in my head, I think. Maybe it's longer. Probably like 100 hours of grinding solos. Um, and then you gotta do all these. Uh, because you get the Mutt Master collectible. So you have to do these in order to get Mutt Master. So... Forget what I said, you gotta do these. Anyway, so if I want to get my master, I have to do these, so I might as well do those as well. Uh, so that's just an upgrade uh, update on that. I have not played that many solos. Um, I've played, what was it, like, I'm 22 and 8 online? Or something like that? Yes, 22 and 8. So I play 30 head to head games. I don't even, I think I've played more. Head to head games. I have solo challenges. Let's go to solo challenges. Uh, played eight training, sixteen, so thir twenty six. There, I've completed all the weeklies except for the certificate of authenticity ones, uh, the eight style solos, and then I can't complete any of these. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Drop a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't. I'm going to be hitting you guys uh, with a video later talking about the Ultimate Team Roundtable. If you've never heard that before, um, it's a show that uh, C.R. Buke is the host of. If you haven't seen him, check him out. He's a, he's a Madden and FIFA Ultimate Teamer. Um, and so I'll talk about that in a later video. Uh, just letting you guys know the details and where you can check it out and where I'll be. Because um, I won't be streaming it, so I'll direct you guys towards his stream. Um, if any of the other guys are streaming, I might, I'll, I'll put their links to in a later description, but, um, for now, I'll direct you to his stream, which is the same as YouTube, CR Buke, which is where we will be, but I'll talk about all that in a later video. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the long video. You guys will be getting long videos when I start doing my head-to-heads, because I'll probably just do them live, uh, because most people edit them down, uh, so I'll give you something different and do them live, uh, just full live commentaries. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll drop a like if you did, subscribe if you haven't. I probably already said that, but I hope you all enjoyed. I'll catch you guys later.